Salut, David Allman here for Overloud.com. We've had a lot of questions lately on how to connect your guitar to your computer to make the most of Overloud's TH2. TH2 is an amp modeler with a lot of different effects. You can really customize your tone, but if you're not using the right connections, you're not really going to enjoy the software. A lot of people are just plugging their guitar straight into the computer and although you might get some sound, it's really not the best way to go because you're going to get a lot of background noises, you're going to get some latency, and overall the experience is not going to be good. You need a sound interface. A sound interface is basically an external sound card with really low latency. This is how it looks like. I am using an M-Audio Fast Track Pro. There's a lot of different options out there that work as good. Basically, this is your sound card. This is your sound interface. You're gonna be able to put that directly on your desk and not have to go behind your computer to plug your guitar. Not cool at all. Most interfaces are USB and it's gonna give you a very fast transfer of information between the sound card and your computer. I'm simply gonna use a standard USB cable already connected to the computer. Connecting this to my sound interface, connect my speakers. I can now plug the guitar directly into the interface. The connections are made. All we need is a guitar. Ah, there are two different ways to use TH2, as a standalone or as a plug-in. The standalone version of TH2 simply allows you to launch the TH2 software and play your guitar. You would probably use the standalone version if you were to play live. Just load TH2 on a laptop computer, bring your sound interface, and plug your sound interface to the PA system at a gig, and you will run TH2 as a standalone software. Running TH2 as a plugin will allow you to use TH2 within another software. If you're recording something, you're going to use a sequencer. That's where you're going to assemble all your tracks. And if you want to record your guitar within your sequencer as you're building your song, you can create a new track, a guitar track, assign to that track a plugin, which is going to be TH2. That way you will get access to all the cool sounds found in TH2 and record your guitar directly within your sequencer using TH2 as a plugin, an extension to that software. This option is awesome in terms of flexibility because you can record your guitar on the track. The guitar that you're actually recording is the dry guitar, but what you're hearing is the sound of TH2. It's ran as a plugin, and that means that later on, once you've finished recording your track, you can always go back and tweak the effects without having to re-record your guitar. Last and not least, I want to answer one of the questions that we've had concerning the delay that you have when you're playing your guitar and what you're hearing from TH2. This can be fixed by clicking on the options. Here you will see the settings of your sound card. This is going to change depending on the sound interface sound card that you are using. Simply go to the buffer size. As you are reducing the buffer size, you're going to get a lower latency, a lower delay between what you're playing and what you're hearing. Make sure you check out Overloud.com for amazing products, including the outstanding Overloud TH2. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time. Until then, salut.